Hey everyone, so I thought I would share with you guys some of my beauty favorites of 2013. These are some products that I've been using throughout the year that some of them have become like lifetime favorites for sure. So I thought I would share with you guys. I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of weird. I had like weird chills and fever all night and now my throat is kind of sore. So, so I'm going to try to go through these as fast as I can and hopefully this is helpful to you guys. So what I'm going to start off first is my little cosmetics mirror and this is what I use every day to do my makeup and in a lot of my makeup videos a lot of people have asked me where I got this mirror and this is actually from Leo Ellie Texas. It's a Leo Ellie little handheld mirror and I just love it because it's so cute and princessy. This is a skincare item and this is the Tony Moly Apple Tox face mask and I did a separate video on this as well and basically it comes in this cute little apple case and it is a white cream and you rub it on your face and you just kind of keep rubbing keep rubbing and then basically all your dead skin cells will start coming off like eraser bits which is really gross but also very refreshing at the same time it makes a little bit of a mess because of all the stuff falling down um, but your skin will feel so awesome afterwards so i really recommend this the next two things are primers and this was actually a sample but it lasted so long and i have to go buy the regular size one and it's the pixie flawless and poreless uh, pore minimizing face primer and I use this every day for months and months this little tiny tube lasts me so long and I absolutely love it I definitely think that my not only does my makeup stay on longer but it just it goes on nicer it looks more even um, you can't really see my foundation like sticking on my face if that makes any sense I really recommend that one and another primer I've been using a lot also from Leo Ali Texas is the Leo Welly Dollish Veil Vita BB Cream Makeup Base and I use it in the green one because the green cancels out any redness or discoloration on your face and it's a little pump like this. So I've been using those two primers a lot this year. I always go back to this foundation. I have a couple of different foundations that I kind of rotate through. This one I always go back to if I am unsure. I just know that my skin will always look the best with this and it's the Revlon Photo Ready Makeup and I am in, the color's not there anymore, Golden Beige. And I just love this. It makes your skin look really natural, looks good in the sunlight, looks good on camera. Um, I really like the Revlon Photo Ready in Golden Beige. And I'm like an NC30, NC35 in the summertime. Another thing that I've been using a lot is my Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream by Holica Holica. And it's a gel BB cream. And I like this one because it doesn't give you a gray cast like a lot of BB creams give. Um, it feels very moisturizing on the skin. I have really dry skin, so I really like this one, especially in the winter time. Now for face powder, um, after I put on my foundation, I've been using, oh, I don't have it here, but it basically looks like this, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and I've been using that for years. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys these other two mineralized skin finishes. And one of them it, I use as a highlight, and it's the Soft and Gentle. And then the other one I use also as a highlight sometimes, and sometimes under my blush and it's the petticoat and it's just this really warm kind of rose gold tint and it just gives your cheeks a really nice warm kind of sheen to it. Now for contouring and bronzing I have been using my water resistant matte bronzer from Laura Geller and this is the Baked Impressions bronzer and I use it in medium. I've already hit pan. I like this one because it's not shimmery at all but it's also not muddy. It looks a little bit reddish tint on camera but it's not. Um, I use it every day for contouring and as bronzer and I just really like the finish of it and it lasts all day. Now while I'm doing my makeup before I start any makeup on I always put on some sort of lip balm and I love the Rose Salve and I've been using this since high school and I keep one in my makeup bag and I keep one in my purse because it's so good for so many things not only for your lips but if you have like dry skin, uh, for your cuticles, your elbows, whatever you want to use it on um, it's basically like a anything that's dry solve now on to some lip products um, I love lip products so I try to narrow it down to ones that I've been really really loving this year and my number one things are the Milani color statement lipsticks and that's what I'm wearing today I love them because they have really 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 good pigmentation they're not drying at all, um, like a lot of lipsticks that have a lot of color that last a long time. Usually they're kind of drying. These ones will last until I take it off. It almost stains your lips. 
um, but it's really moisturizing on your lips as well. Um, I love, love, love them. So today I'm wearing Flirty Fuchsia. I These, uh, these are my go-to lipsticks for sure. I would suggest these to anybody. Um, there's so many colors that I like that I can't even list all of them. But uh, the Milani Color Statement lipsticks are like probably my number one lipsticks. Other lipsticks that I've been really liking are the NYX Black Label lipsticks. Um, and these ones, unlike the Milani, they are very, very creamy and kind of buttery. So um, they don't last quite as long, but they feel really good on your lips. And they have some really, really nice colors of these. And these also are drugstore, so very affordable. Also from NYX, I just grabbed these two, but any of the NYX butter glosses are awesome. They're not totally pigmented or anything, but they feel really good on the lips. These are kind of like my everyday... Um, if I'm not wearing lipstick, I just grab one of these and stick it in my purse for the day. Keeps my lips hydrated, um, makes your lips look really supple and um, conditioned. So I really like those. Another lip balm that I've been liking a lot, and I've also been using this one since high school, not this exact one, but this product, is the Lip Conditioner SPF 15 in Petting Pink by MAC. And um, this one is just a really nice kind of natural pink color. It has that vanilla mac smell so this one um, is a plastic but they had limited edition ones that came in the glass jars as well um, and i really love the lip conditioners from mac now this was a discovery last year but i've been using it all year this year and i haven't gone back to my other eyebrow stuff it's actually an eyeshadow it's it's the infallible eyeshadow and continuous cocoa and I use this for my eyebrows now every single day um, it lasts all day it doesn't smudge it doesn't smear it doesn't look oily looking um, this is like just such a good alternative for eyebrows so I just use this with a angle brush and this is what my eyebrows are drawn on with every day so this is another thing that I'll just continue to use probably forever this pencil is from Pixie and it's the brighten and lighten crayon combo and it's kind of dinged up because I use it every day one side is non-shimmery, it's matte. I use that under my eyebrows. And then the other side is the lightened side and it has kind of a pearly finish and I use it on my inner corners. I didn't do it today, but um, inner corners and sometimes under my eye. Um, and I have been using this every single day as well. Continuing on to eyes, um, this is by far the best eyeliner I have ever owned, ever used, will never be able to replace it. I couldn't find any for a while once my other one ran out so I started using some of the eyeliners that I had I have so many eyeliners nothing compares to it it's the Milani infinite liquid eyeliner 24-hour wear it's kind of jelly but once it's on it is on forever and I put my makeup on once in the morning and that is it I don't redo it ever I I never reapply like the only thing I'll ever reapply is maybe my lip stuff like I do a, a winged eyeliner and I touch my eyes I touch my face a lot and I wear contact lenses um, and it never smudges on the flip side it is a little bit hard to get off but that is like just shows how well it lasts and it's very black I love this love this love this I will nothing even comes close to this eyeliner I think the flamed out water resistant covergirl mascara um, and then I love falsies so I'll show you guys the falsies that I usually wear I use the Abella um, I wear different kinds every day. I usually cut them in half and just stick them on the ends. These ones I get um, in downtown LA in the fashion district for only a dollar. But they, if you can find these online or if you ever see them in the store, these are such good quality eyelashes. I like them better even more so than some of the eyelashes that cost like $18, $20. And it's human hair. They are awesome. I, you know, you can use these quite a few times um, before having to throw them out. And then I've been using the Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. And I like this a lot better than the Tube Squishy one just because it has a little brush and it's easier to control. I feel like when I pull off my eyelashes, it doesn't tug and pull my eyes. Um, my eyes don't feel irritated. They dry faster. Like it gets tacky more quickly, ready to apply onto your eyes. I really like so this is the duo brush on adhesive and then really quick last two palettes um, okay this palette I have been using all all year um, it's no new thing to anyone um, but I use this palette every single day um, and then I kind of was looking for a replacement that can fit in a travel bag so I shared this in my December ones it's the Sonia Kashuk 
limited edition eye on neutral matte and shimmer palette and this one has my daughter's trying to show you stuff so it has all of these shades every other is matte or shimmer um, and they're very soft very pigmented so these are my two go-to eyeshadow palettes um, I feel like I have so many things that I like but these are kind of the things that I would repurchase over and over again and there isn't really anything that's comparable to them so um, anyways I hope that was helpful I hope you guys are all doing well I'm gonna go find a cough drop because my throat's hurting again um, and I will talk to you guys later bye Oh, and just to let you guys know, I do have a best of 2013 for moms and kids coming up. And it's a big collaboration with 10 other mommies here on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.